What's up, everyone? I just wanted to give everyone a quick update on my tanks. Now, if you notice, I have no more tilapias. Tank 2 is completely empty. No more water, no more tilapia. And in tank 1, the only thing that's remaining are those two little feeder fish that didn't get eaten by my tilapias. And they've been chilling in my tank for a couple months now. So for the past few days, I've been having a little issue with my tank with my little, the two little feeder fish. It's my fault because once I got rid of the tilapias, I turned off the hang on back filter and I switched back to a sponge filter. And that sponge filter was sitting outside the tank for quite a bit now. And clearly there's been, there's lack of beneficial bacteria in that tank and the water parameters are just completely off. And I've been doing continuous water changes just so these fish don't die. So today I'm just like, you know what? We have to fix this. And what I'm going to do is now I found a seller that sells plants so aquarium plants so we're gonna be adding aquarium plants to this tank just so there's a bit of balance in my tank i'm heading out right now so i'm going to show you guys exactly what plants i'm buying from the seller and how much it's going to cost me so once i'm back we could do the entire setup we could clean the tank we could add the plants i'll show you guys everything but right now i'm heading out i'll see you guys soon here's the bag of plants i got and if you look closely there's a small snail in the bag so now that we're back home I, I know a lot of people forget this step, but for plants, when you before you add it to your aquarium, you also need to quarantine them just like brand new fish. Like I showed you guys, there's already a snail in the bag and I have no clue what else is lurking in those plants in the bag. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to first wash it, just each plant as much as I can, each leaf as much as I can. And then I'm going to keep it in a separate tank for 24 hours, 48 hours. I know people do it for like a couple of weeks, but honestly, this I just have a couple of feeder fish, so I'm fine with that. So I'm just going to keep it under quarantine for 24 hours to 48 hours. And then we're going to be adding it to our tank. And yeah, also don't forget to add light in those 24 to 48 hours. The plant still needs light. So make sure that there's light in that quarantine tank. Before I add the plants, I want to remove my old hang on back filters that's been sitting on my tank forever. I was able to rescue most of the biological filter media, which I'll put back in the tank. I know it's not the best way of doing things, but at least now there's going to be more surface area for the beneficial bacteria to grow. And I just want to show you guys the two settings of the new light I bought from Amazon. It's a 10.5 inch 10 watt light with both white and blue LEDs. Now let's add the plants. It's a bit difficult to do this with one hand and the camera on the other, but I'll try my best for you guys. Look at the size of these roots. I was not expecting them to be this long. The rest I'll do off camera and show you guys the end result. So here's what it looks like with all the plants in the tank. We have in here both large and small Amazon frog bits and a bunch of red root floaters. I paid a total of $20 Canadian for all the plants. The seller was actually nice enough to give me more than what I asked for. And I also ended up keeping the snail. This is my first time keeping these plants. I've done my due diligence before buying them, but if you guys have any advice or any tips and tricks, please let me know in the comments. And that's going to be it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, make sure you hit the like button. And if you want to see more and what else I do with these tanks, subscribe to the channel and I'll see you on the next one. Take care.